Hello YouTube, let the blessings flow, good vibes today. The year is 2020, the day is 20. How about that? Let the blessings flow, good vibes to everybody out there. I hope you are doing what you want to do, or if not, you are pursuing your goals, you're pursuing happiness, all right? So I have some, some topics and today's topic is the dating market and I have and this applies to other assets of your life okay so if you can master the dating you can master a job you can help um, health and all that stuff I believe the dating market is a huge challenge all right but when you find that right person for you it makes a world of difference all right so I broke around like this who what when and why all right so who who means i am the the product i am the prize so i have to do things to make myself the prize i have to be true to who i am all right once you're true to who you are and what you per or what you want to do in this life everything is going to be fine okay so I am the product, I am the prize. It's very simple. For example, I like cycling, all right? So I go for the hybrid bike because that's the type of bicycle I like when I'm cycling. Some people may like the mountain bike, etc. Okay, all right. So, so who is number one? Um, what? So what do I have to do to improve myself or make myself better all right what do i have to do to improve myself and make myself better so you definitely everybody including myself we have strengths so with your strengths you don't want to forget about your strengths you want to maintain those strengths okay you want to maintain that and you really want to work on your weaknesses because your weaknesses are your challenge so by working on your weaknesses day after day after day, it's gonna empower you. It's gonna make you grow as a human being, okay? So that's how we grow, because everybody have the weaknesses, right? Everybody has strengths. That's how we come into this world, all right? So you wanna maintain your strengths. You don't wanna forget about it. You wanna maintain it, because good. And then you wanna work on your weaknesses, okay? All right, so you got a who, you got a what, when so now we on when when the time is now oh no 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 this is not the right time man um you know what uh, tomorrow actually you know what next month next month you know what next year um no 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 don't put off what don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today the most valuable asset that you have and I have in this world is time. And time goes like that, okay? Everybody has to start somewhere. Don't be Mr. Fancy, or all right? Or try to pretend like whatever. Start, get it started, get started, okay? Who, what, when, and why, all right? So the last one is why. Why am I doing this? I want to achieve a goal why whatever goal that may be a career a job traveling whatever it may be you have to have that why like why am i grinding why am i day to day doing this because i know my why i believe my why is going to make me happy for example john wants to buy a house why he wants to buy a house because john believes buying a house is going to make him happy so john wants to buy a house so john has to go to the bank and say hey what steps do I need to take to get a house? The bank will say, hey, you got to have good credit. You got to have a job. You got to have um, this and this and this. All right, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right? So once you have that why, the why is very powerful. All right? The why is very powerful. Because when you are in that struggle, when you are on that lonely road, you'll be like, man, whew, why, why am I doing this? Because you know, that's going to make you happy and make you grow because your why is powerful. Why? All right. 
So I'm done with that. The next thing is the five senses. So you got to work on the five senses in this life. All right. The first one is your vision. The second one is hearing. The third one is smelling. The next one is taste and touch. See, I'm trying to touch somebody out there. I'm trying to give you some real information from my heart. Okay. All right. So vision, vision. How are you going to present yourself to the world? For example, how are you going to dress? That represents you. What kind of body type are you going to have? What type of posture are you going to have? How are you going to how are you going to present your how are you going to present your authentic self to the world? What people are going to see? Okay, vision. Hearing. What are you listening to? Who are you listening to? How do you speak? How is your tonality? How is your the pitch of your voice? Do you sound confident? Do you sound depressed? I suggest everybody record yourself. Make a video. Hear, hear how you speak. Ask your friends. Ask your family. Do I sound like this? Do I sound like that? That's something you can work on. That's something I work on. Okay? I stumble on my words sometimes. So I know I got to slow down. I got to project. I got to use a very... And I got to use a very energetic tone. Okay? So, so all right? So, sound is, is really good. Taste. Taste is a huge factor in people's health. Because really and truly, we are eating food because it tastes good, not because it's for, to fuel our bodies, to get, to fuel our, our bodies. Taste is a huge factor in, in health. Huge factor. Huge factor in, in, in health. Everybody wants stuff that tastes good. But the foods that really taste the best, we know that are not really the best for us. The foods that are not tasting the best are the best for us. Why is that? Because food is fuel. It's like when you have a car, you put the gas in the car and then the car can go. Okay? So I, I suggest to everybody, girls and boys, man or woman, whatever, learn how to do some cooking learn how to make things learn how to create learn how to be creative in the kitchen okay taste isn't everything okay but what taste does taste warns us oh that is too spicy oh that food is not good you know what i mean our senses are our guide in this life all right so taste is very important a lot of people only eat food because it tastes good. That's wrong. You have to eat food for the taste and for the nutritional benefits to, to help you be motivated, have energy, and go for the things you want in this world. All right, so taste and touch, right? How do you touch somebody? Are you too aggressive? You know what I mean? Are you just cold and withdrawn? We are human beings. We have to communicate. We have to touch other people. We, right? So touch is very important. I'll give a, a quick example. Just, this is like a, a, this is like, oh, I meet someone. Oh, I see a pretty girl. I meet her. I was like, hey, how are you doing? How I shake her hand? Like, like, how do I touch her? You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, right? You have to work on these things. For another example, like in the job, you're going for a job. All right? Your employer, you have an interview, and now you're going to have to shake his hand. If you shake his hand too aggressive, like, ah, that signals, oh, I'm insecure. I got to show you that I'm strong. If you like a flimsy handshake, that shows like, oh, I don't really give a shit. You got to have that in between where it's just firm, just right. All right. So touch is very important in this world. All right. I want to go with hearing. All right. Hearing. Sight, nose, touch, and touch. Okay? So you got to work on all these things. And like I said in my last video, it's not just going to be like easy. It takes much practice, much discipline. And you keep doing these steps over and over. And in the end, I'll see you at the top of the mountain. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.